Greetings! Welcome to Genealogy with the Canadian Twist weekly webinar recap. This is a short recap of this week's episode, which was suddenly, unexpectedly, and tragically researching past the obituary. Our weekly webinars are held just about every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Look down below to get all the details about how you can register for our weekly webinars and also how you can access the 48-hour free webinar replay that is available after our weekly webinars. You'll also want to get on our mailing list and you can get that information delivered directly to your inbox. So now we'll just take a brief look at what we covered this week, researching past the obituary, things that will help you further your family history research. So let's take a look. Fanny Lake, my great-grandmother on my lake side of the family, uh, she died suddenly. And it's really hard to read, but I'll read it out for you. And it says here, suddenly at Thorndale, on Saturday, April 2nd, 1949, Fanny Lake, beloved wife of Herbert Lake and dear mother of Thomas Fairburn, Mrs. Alvin Shannon of London, Horace of Park Hill, Ronald of Belmont, John and Ralph of Glanworth, Raymond of Thorndale, in her 72nd year, resting at the E.J. Jones Funeral Home Thorndale, where service will be held on Tuesday, April 5th at 2 p.m., interment in Woodlawn Cemetery. All right, what questions should we be asking ourselves with the information given in Fanny's obituary? And what other records do we need to be researching? All right, so this is where you are going to put your input, and you can type in the chat box what you think we should be researching just based on this little bit of an obituary that was in the London, uh, the London records. Okay, so I've got a little bit of information there. And so what would you, if this was your ancestor and you came across this obituary, where and what would you want to be looking at? Okay, so this is what I came up with for researching more about Fanny. Okay, so based on the obituary, these are the questions that I had. So what was Fanny's cause of death? It said suddenly in the obituary, but it's not giving us any information about why it was sudden, what happened to her? So that was the first thing I wanted to know was what happened. And then um, we talked about a little bit about her marriage to Herbert, but we don't really know where and when she was married. So I have to do a little bit more research about that. And then based on her age, we could look at a possible birth registration about 1878. We would want to research all the children. And like Lolly says here, who are the daughters, right? We have those misses, you know, Mrs. Alvin Shannon, uh, Mrs. Uh, Thomas, and it says Fairburn. But the actual name was Fairbairn. So Mrs. Thomas Fairbairn. Who were they? Um, and that drives me crazy when they did that back then, you know, with the women all under the man's name. So now I have to go and research all those people to see which daughter it was who was married to Thomas Fairbairn and which daughter was married to Alvin Shannon. Um, so I, I, you know, I now have that information. Um, so it's Aunt Kay who was married to Thomas. Um, and then... Kevin says, look for other articles in the newspaper. It may be a clue to the death. And I have, I'm not finding any information about her death elsewhere in the newspapers. Um, so some other things to look at are funeral home records, cemeteries records, and a coroner's report. That's what I started with. And so I ordered uh, Fanny's death certificate. So Fanny died in 1949. So her Ontario death registration will be transferred to the Archives of Ontario next year in 2020. And then it has to be digitized and indexed before becoming publicly available. 
So I was able to order a copy of her death certificate. And I ordered this way back in 2006. And I don't know, I hopefully you can see uh, well enough to see that there's some information missing. And what, what big piece of information is missing from this statement of death is the cause of death. So I can order you know, the death certificates for my ancestors, but that cause of death does not become public information until 70 years after the date of death in Ontario. So I have to wait. I have to wait a little bit longer. And again, it depends on the province. Um, British Columbia, if you have ancestors that died in British Columbia, you get a lot of information fairly fast because it's only 20 years. And then some of the other provinces, it's 50 years. Ontario has really strict privacy laws. So actually information about the deceased, any information about the deceased is not to be released until 20 years after the person has died. And then of course, the uh, death registration is not released until 70 years after the person has died. So Again, check the laws in the province and territory where you're researching to help you determine when that information becomes available. Um, so Ellen says a copy of our death certificate may be in the family somewhere. If it is, I don't know where it is, Ellen, because I don't have access to it. Um, and then Jackie says, when looking at funeral home records for one relative, she found records for four branches of relatives at the same funeral home. And so, yes, if you could find those funeral home records, sometimes you're going to hit a jackpot like that. Um, and then Jan says, it's tough if you are doing family medical history and your relatives won't say. Yes. So that makes it a little bit harder sometimes, you know, in getting those details that we want and need for our ancestors. Okay, so some details from that death uh, certificate, that statement of death. Um, it gave me her place of death. So Thorndale, West Missouri Township, Middlesex, Ontario. Her date of death, April 2nd, 1949. And then how long Fanny was at the place of death? And it was only one month. So that's a big clue right there. So she was only at the place of death for one month, but she was in the province for 20 years. It also asked um, how long she was in Canada, but that was left blank. So if you have an immigrant ancestor, um, that should be filled in. And she was my immigrant ancestor. She and Herbert were my immigrant ancestors. And so that was left blank. Um, we have her full name, Fanny Lake, and we have her address of residence. Um, her citizenship was Canadian. Her racial origin was British slash English, and she was born in England. Um, and then her date of birth was given as February 21st, 1876 age 73 years. Okay, well, that's a little bit different than what the newspaper obituary said, which was 72 years in her 72nd year. Um, and notice, yeah, so we notice that's a little bit different between the statement of death and the obituary. And then also the informant was my grandfather, and he was the youngest of 13 children uh, between Herbert and Fanny. And so what I've learned over time doing all that research is he didn't, my grandfather didn't know all of the exact details. So he's, he's giving information based on what he knows. Okay. It may not exactly be accurate. And so tracing Fanny's birth was a real challenge because the information in the obituary and the information in the statement of death were not correct. Okay, so what record I need to get for Fanny is the coroner's report of her death because all of this information to date is we don't have the cause of death. And I really need to see if the cause of death matches the family story. And are you ready? Are you ready for the family story about how Fanny died? I hope so. Because it was a little graphic. And it really was sudden, and it really was unexpected. 
All right, there you have it. A brief recap of what we covered this week, researching past the obituary, suddenly, unexpectedly, and tragically. Be sure to sign up for our mailing list. All the details are listed below about how to do that. And that way you can get the topics for each of our webinars, the registration information to join our webinars, and also the information on how to access the archived webinar replay. So with that, thank you for joining me for this week's webinar recap. And until next time, have fun looking for ancestors. <laughs>